Okay, I've got something here that's uh, different. I'm working with an AV plug, Alvin Trinko, or Alvin Drinko. I don't know how they pronounce the name, but we shortened it to AV plug. But what it does is it takes energy in, and through a series of diodes, it comes out in a plus and a minus at the tail end of this thing. And it's usually just this part here, but uh, I'm using something that Slayer showed on one of his videos that's like a compound AV plug. And then I got the earth ground connected right here. And I've got it running on my SEC uh, SEC exciter off of a 12 volt battery. And you can see that LED lit up right there. That's not attached to anything. That's just a piece of wire and a couple of those diodes in what they call an, an AV plug. And I've just got it set on the battery here. And I was trying to replicate the Slayer's deal with just the earth ground. But so far, this is as, as good as I've got. But what I've got is pretty neat. I've got this uh, in such a way that it's running through a one wire over here to the tower with the big lights on it right there. And it's also running my solar top. And it's doing that wirelessly through that big AV plug right there that's picking up the energy from that tower. And that tower is hot. I'll show you the, the hot coming off of this thing. See that thing light up? And that's got to be 60, 80 volts, whatever, right there. And it's picking that energy up right here and converting it into a plus minus into a capacitor and then it's going into the motor and there you can see there's no battery in there at all. The battery's been pulled and it's running this top. It's basically a pulse motor and uh, this this thing has energy all over it. Let me see if I can light this up here. And you see that fluorescent on there? Um, the energy's all around this device and I'm picking it up with this AV plug arrangement here put it in a capacitor then put it into the motor actually a pulse motor. It's a one magnet, no bearing uh, Johnny Davro kind of setup, but it, it's not a Bedini. It's my own uh, circuit. But I got one other thing here. This is the where the solar cell is for my solar top. I've got it covered. But if I uncover that and I tip this up toward the light, guess what, folks? That thing speeds up. So what I've got here is I've got a double whammy. I've got energy coming in from the AV plug. I'm recovering energy through the solar cell from those LEDs and running my motor wirelessly. And it's connected with this one wire over here to the SEC exciter uh, main unit. But there's no wires connecting the tower and the motor. The connection is wirelessly through this AV plug that's picking up the energy wirelessly. And that's where I've got this connected to the earth ground right there. Goes around the floor outside into a ground stake outside. And this is what Slayer's been uh, working with. He's been working with an earth ground along with Bodkins. A bunch of us have been working with this earth ground. And this will not work without the earth ground. It doesn't run. So anyway, uh, take a look at this diagram here. And uh, freeze frame this. You can see how it's set up. Uh, these are 1N914 uh, switching diodes, little switching diodes, and they're set up, um, this obviously being plus, that's the minus, plus, minus, two in series on each leg there, and then two like that on the bottom leg, and it, it bumps voltage up, and I can actually make this into a charger doing this, but uh, yeah, I thought this was pretty neat, and I was trying to replicate Slayer's uh, little ground thing, and this was as close as I got to a replication. But uh, pretty neat, pretty neat stuff. Be able to pick up this energy all around the. I'm picking it up all around here, and it's it's in the air. It's coalesced. It's it's cohered. It's like Dr. Stifler says. This this stuff is is cohered somehow. This this unit picks up the energy around it and coheres it. And like I say, that's running a motor wirelessly from the energy that's cohered around that tower. So anyway, I just want to share that with people. And I've always wanted to do this, was run some kind of a motor